This week on Theme Park Bar, we're heading back to Halloween Horror Nights 28 to recreate a drink that's scary strong, and it's going to be totally lit. That, that's the name of the drink. Hello, my name is Matt, and welcome to Theme Park Bar. I am a career bartender and an Orlando native who wants to show you how to make the best signature drinks from around the world and across the universe. Here at Theme Park Bar, we know the best attractions are the ones served in a glass. With Halloween just around the corner, it only seemed fitting to step back into the fog to recreate another cocktail from everyone's favorite haunted event, Halloween Horror Nights. 2018 was a pivotal year for the event. With the introduction of Stranger Things, the event reached new heights in fandom and also brought with it that fun throwback 80s vibe that stuck around through the 2019 events as well. With awesome park-wide audio of synthwave, retro snacks, and a classic cocktail city center stage, the theme and the vibe of the 80s was alive in the fog. The totally later LIT has been a signature drink years in the making because, well, it's just a traditional Long Island, guys. A cocktail I'm sure most of you have enjoyed at some point. I can actually tell you that I've had more Long Island iced teas at Halloween Horror Nights than any other drink out there, and I'm not really proud to say this, but I don't remember Halloween Horror Nights 22 at all. nothing. Anyways, the cocktail and party starter was invented in 1972 by bartender Robert Rosebud Butt in Long Island, of course. By mixing equal parts of pretty much the entire liquor shelf, you should have enough liquid courage inside of you to charge through haunted houses all night long. Here's what you're going to need. Half an ounce of vodka, half an ounce of gin, half an ounce of rum, half an ounce of tequila, half an ounce of triple sec, two ounces of sweet and sour drink mix and Coca-Cola. All right, so let's get this totally lit LIT, traditional Long Island iced tea, what you have you working here. We're gonna start with a glass full of ice, of course. Now that we've got our ice in there, we'll start throwing some liquor. We're gonna start off with our half ounce of vodka, half an ounce of gin, Half an ounce of rum. Half an ounce of tequila. We're almost there, guys, I promise. Home stretch now. Half an ounce of triple sec. From there, we're gonna throw in two ounces of our sweet and sour drink mix. All right, from there, we're gonna get our tin. Just give it a really quick shake. That's it, nothing too crazy, right? Now, a little hack of the uh, bartender trade is we serve Long Islands in typically a pint glass in most popular bars. So, I like to use a pint glass as my mixer. I'm just gonna pour it straight back into that glass. We're almost done, I promise. From there, we're gonna top off with just a little bit of Coca-Cola. We just wanna do a float. This is gonna provide just a little bit of color and a little bit of sweetness to the cocktail. I like to pour the soda on a little bit gently there. Not too much. About an ounce, maybe two. Uh, if you don't want to use regular Coke, of course you can use Diet Coke and Coke Zero and I guess Pepsi if you're one of those people. From there we're going to garnish with a lemon wheel. And there you have it, a traditional Long Island iced tea, totally lit, totally L-I-T, what have you here. Now I know I'm calling this a Halloween Horn H drink and I'm serving in a pint glass. So just, just for posterity's sakes, I got my HHN 2018 Blinky Cup here. We'll go ahead and give it a quick little dump. Just like in there. Get that light on and we'll bring these lights down. Get it spooky up in here. All right, we've got the glowing cup. We got the lights down. Let's go ahead and revisit Halloween Horror Nights 28 here. Woo! Woo! Woo, that takes me back. Yep. Oh, man. You know, a Long Island AC, I'm sure, is something many of you have had. And it's, it's, it's such a bar staple. It's something that a lot of us think of as like college and, and our early 20s going really hard. But when you make it properly, when you measure everything out, it's a very well-balanced drink. It's surprisingly a very well-balanced drink. You see how many different liquors are in there, but it's only about two and a half ounces of, of alcohol, which is 
par for the course of most cocktails we have served here. Mm. It's a little acidic, it's a little sweet, it's a little cool, it has a little bit of a bite. It, if you close your eyes and, and try hard enough, it definitely tastes like iced tea, but you gotta, you gotta really use your imagination. Really, just really pretend you're there. Mm. They also serve this with their second signature drink, and I think they called it something like Totally Twisted. It was like a berry vodka cocktail. They put it in a square cup. It was, the, the square cup stuff was the worst. For me, this is definitely my Halloween Horror Nights cocktail, and you know, it definitely reminds me of Horror Nights 28 as well. Just taking a sip of this, I can hear the music of Vamp 85 right now. Really strong. <laughs> it's definitely a strong drink, but it's good. This is gonna take you where you want to be. This is gonna, it's gonna make you Superman. Mm. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me here on another episode of Theme Park Bar. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Become one of my bar regulars today simply by subscribing to the channel and let me know down in the comments below what cocktails you want to see recreated here. Fans of the show, you can also pick up the new Theme Park Bar t-shirt over at tpublic.com by following the link down below so you can support the show in style. Just look at that stud. Wow. You can chat with me all over social media at Twitter and Instagram, both at Theme Park Bar, and you can find all of my past videos and recipes over at themeparkbar.com. Remember when you're going out to please, always be safe, drink responsibly, call a cab if you need to, and never forget to tip your bartenders, guys. Until next time, stay pure. Cheers. Oh, that's strong.